Welcome. So today I thought I would do a short video showing you what to do if you're trying to, you know, follow the madness ending. So uh, what you need to do is, you know, make your way through the subterranean shunning grounds, come down here, defeat Moog, or the image of Moog, I guess, is it's not really him. And then you will end up here in the Cathedral of the Forsaken. Uh, basically, you start here at the Forsaken Depths, you run into here, uh, and you'll get here, you'll pop this open, you'll get an item, and then you're like, what do I do? I'm stuck. That's right, you have to attack this. Don't ask me how they expect you to figure that out other than these notes here, but yeah. Anyway, so there you go. So you head on down here and you find out quickly enough that this guy and all these guys, you'll hear the music playing too, these are the merchants. Do be careful because some of these guys actually are alive periodically. Uh, most of them aren't going to do anything. Like if they're playing something, just leave them alone. They'll just not bother you. But you do need these guys for uh, a couple of things. See, there's one walking around right down there. Basically, there's these uh, like little tent shelters built up. And you have to have them attack you with madness um, so that you can... Um, go ahead and um, uh, go and um, have them break those open for you essentially that's the only way to do it so so there's this guy right here so let's get him no great come on I'm gonna move over here buddy there we go now get the hell out of the way before he procs madness on you Get down. Okay. So yeah, so these are all the uh, the merchants, and so I will just real quickly see if one of these will tell you what they do. So as you can see, these merchants once thrived as a great caravan, but after being accused of heretical beliefs, their entire clan was rounded up and buried alive far underground. There they chanted a curse of despair and summoned the flame of frenzy. So all this frenzy stuff, that's these guys. They're causing all this. So, so what you want to do, you definitely want to put something on to get rid of uh, that. Anything else that'll make you more resistant to it will be helpful um, oh. so you're gonna find that oh, there's an item right here so you're gonna want to drop to several different areas here uh, but definitely make sure that you do not have a lot of runes because you're gonna die I mean that's just all there is to it these falls they will take a toll on you I mean this is just how it is here so let's see is there a tent over here there it is hey buddy
There we go. And again, like this guy, he's just leaving you alone. He's just playing his tune, so. All right, so let's see what we got here. I have yellow. Yellow ember. So we want to go down, continue on down. So let's run on over here. Remember if there's anything over here, but we'll go look real quick. Yep. Golden Rune 11. Okay, that's it. Okay, so just try and line up as best you can these drops. Okay, there we go. Anybody alive in here? No? Okay, good. Oh, I see an item over there, so we'll run over there real quick. Hefty Beast Bone. All right. So, ideally, what you will do is you will jump over to here and jump down to where the next item is, or footnote, whatever you want to call it. Oh, whoa, 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 oh, I missed it. As you can see, it's difficult, so you'll die numerous times here. Uh, so, as I've mentioned on previous occasions, that you know the hardest enemy here in any kind of Dark Souls game is gravity. So, yeah, it's the toughest boss. But having gone through here, you can just skip. Uh, we've gotten all the goodies thus far, so we'll just skip. And just go straight down. Yep, oh, see. That's why you don't have a lot of runes on, so. Uh, if you are concerned, you can put on the uh, Twiggy Cracked Tear into your Physic, and that'll give you. Uh, Tear, um, you know, one of the uh, twigs. You know, so you don't lose everything. Uh, but, you know, again, I mean, we only had like 600 going in here. So, I mean, it wasn't really that big a deal. So, I'm not worried about it. Oh, good God. So yeah, as you can see, your number of deaths will infinitely increase here. Don't feel bad about it. I mean, you really don't need to come here if you don't really want that ending. You know, don't feel like you have to come here. There. Well, never mind. So yeah, if you're not going for the madness ending, you definitely don't need to come here. So don't feel like you have to. So. Uh. 
See, we've gotten everything there, so we don't need to mess with these guys. Okay, here's our guy. So just step off. Let's see if I can do this. There we go. And we want to drop right down there. There we go. And then we want to jump down to there like that guy did. Oh, missed it. But you get the idea. So yeah, don't feel bad about dying a bunch of times on this, because like I said, I mean, it's just going to happen. Yeah, dang it. It's just not letting me quite... So we're going to start from that guy. Because that jump is just... I'm not landing fully enough on it. Oh, good God. Okay, so like I said, you start off here. So let's see if we can... Oh, nope, too far. Alright, well anyway, you'll reach down here and the floor will give away, but that's okay. So once the floor gives away, you will go and um, there'll be a side of grace there. Uh, and so I'll... Um, I'll try and pick up there, because God knows how long it's going to take me to do this, so anyway. Uh, but do your best. Just try and get down to the bottom. Four will give way. You'll find a side of grace. We'll pick up there. All right. Bye for now.